Take a close look at this historic handshake, one between a robotics laboratory in the Netherlands, operated by the European Space Agency, <laughs> and U.S. astronaut Terry Virts at the International Space Station. For the first time, an astronaut working in space has controlled a movable device on Earth. I think for, for space robotics, this is a very good first point to actually reach down from space to ground and actually be able to touch systems on Earth. The space handshake is part of a project called Haptics 2. The word haptic refers to devices that convey a sense of touch, something essential to carrying out remote tasks, such as inserting a pin or turning a screw. It is very essential to actually receive that force feedback back into the space station and the astronauts will be able to exactly feel what they're doing. Scientists here hope it's the start of something big. Think of other events on Earth like Fukushima or underwater operations. So basically this technology of remote controlling a robot can be applied not just in space but also on Earth. No, I didn't put it there, but... In space, scientists say the technology holds out great promise because robots, remotely controlled by humans, will likely be the first explorers of distant planets. Ned Barker, The Associated Press.